It's been over two months since my last My Little Pony Iceberg. Since then, I've been swamped with suggestions about interesting and dark aspects of the MLP franchise to cover in a future video, enough to fill an entire iceberg on its own. Not only that, but I managed to find this, the original 4chan MLP iceberg. Back when I made the first video, the only picture I could find of this one was incredibly blurry and impossible to make out. But now, after finding a clean version of it, I have more than enough material to work with for another video. But there are some things I had to keep out of this one, things that either yielded no results on Google, or things I want to relegate to their own separate iceberg, like Equestria Gorillas or the earlier generations. Before we start, I want to clear a few things up that I got wrong or didn't really explain that well in the last video, so let's get those out of the way. Things I got wrong. Friendship is magic is friendship is witchcraft abridged. This was a joke. Apparently it wasn't all that funny. Friendship is witchcraft, FIW, is an abridged series that takes footage from Friendship is magic, so I thought it would be funny if there was a fake theory like, oh, what if Friendship is witchcraft is the real show and Hasbro steals footage from it to use in theirs. The reason I think this was kind of confusing is that all the other entries on the iceberg are based in real facts or theories that have at least some evidence, but yeah, for anybody confused about that, there you go. I also didn't bring up why Lyra's whole wanting to be a human thing was there. It was because of how she sits in the background of certain shots, sort of like how humans do, which is different compared to how other ponies in the show sit. Despite looking identical to like a younger Pinkie Pie, Little Cheese is actually a boy, as confirmed by one of the writers. The Rainbow Factory song actually came first. The fan fiction was inspired by it, not the other way around. Now that those are over with, let's take another deep dive into the My Little Pony iceberg, starting with... Level 1. 15.ai 15.ai is a program from MIT that can create text-to-speech voices out of certain characters from various franchises. Examples include Spongebob, TF2, Steven Universe, and My Little Pony. The pony voices have been used for a number of things, from having them read off famous copypastas to recreating scenes from Friendship and Switchcraft. Fim Fiction Fim Fiction is a site inspired by fanfiction.net, where users can upload their MLP fanfics for all to see. MLP Manga My Little Pony, A Day in the Life of Equestria, is a manga series written by David Lumsden and illustrated by Shie. A snippet from the first volume's Amazon page tells us that the world of My Little Pony comes alive in this distinctive manga series that spotlights each of the main six and a host of other characters from the land of Equestria. My Little Pony, Fighting His Magic, was a planned fan game based on Friendship is Magic that was cancelled after Hasbro sent the developers a cease and desist letter. The project then caught the attention of Lauren Faust, who offered to create original character designs for the game. In place of the My Little Pony IP, the game was retooled into Them's Fightin' Herds, which was released on Steam in 2020. Audio dramas are a lesser known genre of MLP fan works. The most recognizable of these are Bride of Discord and Daughter of Discord, which follow future versions of the characters in Friendship is Magic, along with their fan-made offspring. Discord never reformed. This theory states that Discord never truly became a better person, that he's only pretending to be good for Fluttershy's sake. This is somewhat true, I guess. Discord never stops being himself, but after Keep Calm and Flutter on, he's more of a pain in the neck instead of being straight up evil. Brony Fan Songs In the original Iceberg, I mentioned Discord by Eurobeat Brony and its remix by Living Tombstone. However, there are tons more fan-made MLP songs from over the years that people remember. Examples include Liar's Anthropology, Love Me Cheerily, and Nightmare Night fan animated series slash shorts. I got a lot of these as suggestions in the past two videos, so I'm gonna speed through all of them in one entry to save time. Double Rain Boom, Snowdrop, Rainbow Dash Presents, The Mentally Advanced series, I know it's not new animation, but it's by the same guy, MLP Meets Portal, Spitfire's Day Off, Pony Sliding Into Boxes, The Moon Rises, Flufflepuff, and Dusk's Dawn. One of these days, I wanna do a retrospective on some of them. I should also bring up the Source Filmmaker Pony animations. Whether humorous, sad, or not safe for work, because those are a big part of the fandom too. Kevin the Changeling Kevin the Changeling was a character who appeared in the episode Slice of Life during Cranky and Matilda's wedding. This is the first example of a friendly changeling that appeared in the show. Pink-haired Celestia This could be referring to Princess Molestia, but I think this could also be talking about the off-model Celestia toys from early G4. Hasbro apparently thought that making her coat white wouldn't appeal to little girls, so she was portrayed as pink in the first few waves of the toy line. She also had a voice box that said, A phrase which became somewhat of a meme. Later, Celestia Toys changed her coat color back due to complaints that she didn't look like the show. My Little Dashie 
My Little Dashie is a fanfiction about a guy finding Rainbow Dash in the real world. From what I remember, the story is laughably melodramatic, with Rainbow Dash running away and crying once she finds out she's actually a cartoon character instead of a real horse. Ponies the Anthology Ponies the Anthology is a series of videos featuring edited clips from Friendship is Magic. The series was created by Zephyr Star and ran for seven episodes. Nightmare in the Hourglass In Friendship is Magic Part 1, the first episode, during a scene where Twilight walks in front of an hourglass, the face of Nightmare Moon can be seen projected onto a statue in the background. I'm surprised this isn't brought up as much, it's a really well-hidden easter egg. Dead Timelines In the Season 5 finale, Twilight travels across different timelines as a result of Starlight Glimmer stopping Rainbow Dash from performing her first sonic rainboom. People have theorized how these different ones came to be, like how King Sombra, Chrysalis, or the Flim Flam Brothers were able to completely destroy Equestria. We also see this timeline with a completely barren landscape. What happened here? I guess we'll never know the answer. Century Old Granny Smith Though we don't know how old Ponyville is exactly, it's pretty safe to say that the town is over 100 years old. If that's the case, then Granny Smith must have lived for over a century, seeing as how Ponyville was founded when she was young. MLP Horror Games There are MLP Creepypastas and MLP Creepypasta videos, but what about MLP-related horror games? There are a few. Examples include Story of the Blanks, My Little Amnesia, and the various MLP mods for SCP Containment Breach. MLP Grimdarks this was another one that I got a ton of suggestions for. Along with your standard Cupcakes and Rainbow Factory, there are a few more grimdark MLP fanfics that traumatized readers back in the day. Examples include The Cough, Diaries of a Madman, and The Rose of Life, which I think is a comic actually. There are too many of these to name, and the big recognizable ones I think I already went over, so sorry if X Pony Goes Insane and Kills People fanfic number 10,834 didn't make it onto the iceberg. Level 2 Gak is back. Gak is a type of slime that was released back in 1992 and is still sold today. Commercials for Gak flooded the Hub Network's commercial breaks in 2012. So much, in fact, that it became a small meme in the MLP community, due to the commercials always interrupting new episodes. Brony Square. Brony Square was an MLP website that's described as one of the fandom's longest running social network slash RP sites. In 2017, the site shut down, leaving at least hundreds of threads and posts lost to time. Twilight becomes a dictator. This theory states that after taking over the throne from Celestia and Luna in Season 9, Twilight began to rule Equestria with an iron hoof. In the time skip at the end of the series, we see the people of Equestria relatively happy and Twilight ruling alongside her friends. So, maybe that changed? Maybe she was a dictator originally, then her friends told her to knock it off? Teleportation is death. There's nothing about this online, but I can infer what this means. The theory might be that whenever a unicorn or alicorn uses their teleportation powers, the original self is destroyed, and they spawn a clone in the area that they teleport to. Mr. Davey was a show animator. The animator behind Cupcakes and Smile HD has never outed themselves publicly. On various different accounts, his exact location is marked as different places from around the world, from Canada to the Democratic Republic of the Congo. His YouTube page also used to mention him being an animator who previously worked at Disney, Cartoon Network, and Hasbro. If he happened to work on Friendship is Magic, it's pretty safe to assume how he was able to replicate the show's style so well. Applejack can't read. Applejack can be seen reading in multiple episodes, but how do we know she's not just faking it? That story she tells the tree in over a barrel could be completely made up. Minuet is a regeneration of the Doctor. Since Minuet and Doctor Who's have the same cutie mark, they could be a regeneration of the same character. Like how in Doctor Who, the Doctor regenerates into a new form every 10 years or so. I don't know that much about Doctor Who, but I've never seen two versions of the Doctor interact, so that's probably a point against this theory. First, Natural Born Alicorn. This is probably referring to Flurry Heart and how she's the only alicorn to be born with wings and a horn. Others like Celestia, Luna, Cadence, and Twilight had to earn their wings, while here she has them right out of the gate. Celestia's Statue Garden. This could be referring to the actual statue garden in the show and how there might be different characters frozen in there that we've never seen, but there's also a fanfiction called Statue Garden, where Twilight gets turned into a statue by Celestia, or almost gets turned into one. I don't remember it all that well. Pony Life Fanbase Purgation What was the purpose of Pony Life? Was it actually made to reach a new, younger audience? Or did Hasbro make Pony Life to scare away bronies from the franchise? Given the reputation of the fandom in the mid to late 2010s, Hasbro probably didn't want the My Little Pony brand name to be associated with it anymore. Discord is Grogar in Season 9, the mysterious Grogar turns out to be Discord in disguise, trying to test Twilight's power by creating a new villain. 
But what if it's the other way around? What if the original Grogar from pre-equestrian history somehow transformed himself into the creature that we now know as Discord? The Usual. The Usual is a webcomic that depicts the two spa ponies being intimate with various other mares. In a few episodes, we can see ponies asking for the usual when going to the Ponyville Spa. Maybe what they're referring to is a lot more similar to the comic than to anything we see in the show. Level 3. Some Pony to Watch Over Me, Full Song. In the episode Some Pony to Watch Over Me, Apple Bloom sings the beginning of a song before being interrupted by Scootaloo. It's rumored that a full version of the song existed in an earlier draft of the episode or somewhere in Hasbro's files. Discord is Fluttershy's imaginary friend. Pretty easily disproved, but it's fun to think about how much of MLP is actually made up because of Fluttershy imagining Discord being there. Or how her imagination was so powerful that Discord manifested into the real world. Celestia responsible for all villains. Celestia's actions have led to the creation of Nightmare Moon, but what about the other villains? We don't get that much insight on Closey Glow or Chrysalis' backstory, so Celestia might have something to do with it. Aside from that, this theory doesn't have that many legs to stand on. Sombra and T-Rex backstories are completely removed from Celestia along with a lot of the show's minor villains. But you never know, maybe it could be a butterfly effect. The Diamond Dogs were rappers. In the original show bible, the Diamond Dogs were originally supposed to be depicted as gangsta rappers who were obsessed with bling. In the title of their introduction episode, A Dog and a Pony Show, the dog was spelled D-A-W-G. We don't know why this was changed exactly, but maybe Hasbro thought the idea didn't fit in the world of MLP, or could have been seen as a racial stereotype. Elements of Harmony are Cabala Tree. The Cabala Tree, or Tree of Life, is a diagram used in various mystical traditions. The diagram resembles a tree, obviously, composed of different nodes. This is similar to the way the Tree of Harmony is depicted in NLP, with various things that make up friendship on different branches of the tree. Afterlife is Equestria. Man, I wish. Twilight created Spike. This theory states that the reason Spike is so much like a pony is not because he was raised like one, but because he was created by Twilight when she hatches the egg during her magic exam, effectively making Spike Twilight's son. Cancelled anime adaptation. There is a My Little Pony manga, and the Japanese version of the Friendship is Magic intro resembles an anime opening, but this theory is fake. There is a ton of anime fan art of MLP, but no official anime was ever in production. Health of Information Tree Corpses In the episode A Health of Information, Zakora gets infected with a disease that turns her into a tree. In the beginning of the episode, we can see a group of trees that Sakura was supposed to turn into until Fluttershy gave her the antidote. It's theorized that these trees are actually ponies that didn't find the antidote in time and were unfortunately transformed, killing them in the process. Carrot Scale In the episode Secret of My Excess, Rarity mentions that an oversized ruby is at least 20 carats. In reality, a 20 carat ruby looks like this on a human hand. From this, it can be inferred that the ponies in the show could fit in the palm of your hand, making them the size of the actual toys. Daybreaker and Nightmare Moon are original selves. Pretty self-explanatory. Daybreaker and Nightmare Moon might represent Celestia and Luna releasing their full magic potential, or true forms. The normal princesses we see are when they're holding it in. That sounded wrong. Level 4. Authoritarian Equestria. Equestria is technically a monarchy, or a dictatorship. Unlike with Twilight's Reign, we never see any sort of senate or council, so you could technically call Equestria an authoritarian regime. Fallout Equestria is canon. This one is also pretty self-explanatory. The fanfic Fallout Equestria could technically be canon to the show, since it takes place in the same world. Although, the fanfic was written when the show was still airing, so it might have left out some aspects of the story that were introduced later. Like Twilight's Castle or the School of Friendship. Mastermind Star Swirl. This is probably referring to the theory that Star Swirl either predicted or knowingly kicked off the events of Friendship as Magic before being sent to the Aether. The Tree of Harmony, the Main Six, the defeat of Nightmare Moon, and everything after could have been cleverly planned out by him for whatever purpose. Molestia Controversy In the first iceberg, I mentioned the Princess Molestia Tumblr blog, but didn't bring up the controversy that came with it. After her 12-year-old sister came across the blog while looking for regular MLP content, one Tumblr user named Pinkie Pony spearheaded a campaign called Down with Molestia. Ever since then, the debate about NSFW content being prevalent in the MLP community online has sort of died down. 
but with G5 coming out and a lot of younger fans recounting their experiences, there's no doubt that something like Down with Molestia will happen again, and probably on a larger scale. Twilicorn imprisons Twilight My best guess for this one is that at the end of Season 3, Celestia creates an identical clone of Twilight with wings and imprisons the real Twilight. Sort of like the teleportation is death thing I mentioned earlier. Real horses. The episode The Best Night Ever, Twilight performs a spell on some mice to turn them into realistically proportioned horses. Does that mean that real horses exist in the MLP universe? The main six are surprised by this, but not outright disturbed like most people would be if they saw a mouse get transformed into a lankier version of them that was two times their size. Friendship is Magic is pony superiority propaganda. Though in the later seasons, the show portrays non-pony creatures as valid members of society, earlier seasons weren't too kind. Species like dragons, griffins, changelings, and buffalo were never shown in a positive light. The only species who were, were the ones who were the closest to ponies, like mules and zebra. The faust Zachary feud. This seemingly refers to a feud between Lauren Faust and Bonnie Zachary, the original creator of the My Little Pony toy line from the 1980s. It's unknown when the feud between the two of them started, or if there's any evidence of it. The most likely reason I can think of for why this would happen is how successful G4 was. I'm sure Bonnie Zachary must have had some aversion to Lauren taking most of the credit for her creation nowadays. Faust sold her soul. Faust is an old German legend, about a man who sells his soul to the devil in exchange for unlimited knowledge and worldly pleasures. Since the character in the story and the creator of Friendship is Magic share a similar name, this entry could have meant that she somehow sold her soul to make Friendship is Magic as successful as it was. Hypothetically, that makes a lot of sense. If Lauren never specified which audience she wanted the show to be popular with, and the devil could have twisted her wish and made bronies a thing. Lauren Faust is Nyx's poster. Nyx is an alicorn OC created by fanfic author Penn Stroke. The character became a meme on 4chan's MLP board, who coined the term Nyx posting. There's really no evidence that Lauren Faust ever contributed to this, or if she even knows of the character. Recalled products. The 4chan iceberg mentioned something called friendship cutie mark stencils that were apparently recalled, but I wasn't able to find anything about that. What I did manage to find, though, was that in 2018, a brand of My Little Pony lollipops were recalled in Australia after they were found to contain poisonous levels of lead. The pops were recalled from stores the day after Halloween, so luckily no children suffered from lead poisoning as a result of Twilight Sparkle and Friends. Level 5 Milky Way and the Galaxy Girls Milky Way and the Galaxy Girls was a doll line that Lauren Faust pitched to Hasbro in the 2000s. The main characters would have all been based on different cosmic bodies, like the sun, the moon, and various planets. Only one wave of toys were produced, and many ideas from the line were adapted into the 2008 pitch for My Little Pony Adventures, which later became My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Celestia and Twilight are related. This theory might be that Twilight is Celestia's real mother, and her parents adopted her as a cover-up. If that's the case, then who's the father? It could also be how after Shining Armor and Cadence got married, Twilight is technically related to Celestia, since Cadence is Celestia's niece. Plush Holes Custom MLP plushies have been a big part of the fandom for many years. Some of them, though, have a mysterious hole where the rear end would be. And others? Others are way more explicit. One example of this comes in the infamous Lyra plush incident. I won't show what the backside looks like, but this thing was put up for auction on an adult toy website to the disgust of everyone there. Plushies with these holes can still be found today, if you know where to look. Most listings for these are completely brand new, while others are described as slightly used. Derpy was intentional. Most people know that Derpy was based on a supposed animation error in the first episode. Or was it even an error? Was Derpy put in there by some animator who thought a cross-eyed Pegasus would be a funny easter egg? Or was she planned from the start by Lauren Faust? CWC cameo. During a crowd shot in the episode Once Upon a Zeppelin, three ponies can be seen that bear a striking resemblance to a younger version of internet personality Chris Chan, along with Barbara and Robert Chandler, Chris Chan's parents. In terms of celebrity cameos in MLP, I'm surprised this one isn't brought up more. If you could even consider Chris Chan a celebrity. Lauren is a Vogel sympathizer. Michael Vogel was an episode writer of MLP starting with season 6. This theory is probably that Lauren Faust approved of his writing the most, as she might have thought it matched what her original vision of the show was? Probably not, but that's my best guess. Fake Leaks A variety of MLP leaks throughout the years have been straight up fake. Most of the ones i found have the vibe of those fake Smash 4 leaks. 
you know, the ones where they would just plop a render of a character into the fighter select screen and then take a grainy photo of their computer with their phone. Since the show's over, we know that none of these are actually real, but some of them are actually pretty funny. Like, who even is this guy? Sergeant Sprinkles was Larson. Sergeant Sprinkles was the author of the original Cupcakes fanfiction. Another pretty self-explanatory theory, this fanfic could have possibly been written by M.A. Larson, who is one of Friendship is Magic's more well-known writers. Level 6. Sad My Little Pony. Sad My Little Pony is the name of a video that was uploaded in 2013. The video is a slideshow of different pieces of fan art. Most of them feature various ponies mourning the death of another character. The video is infamous for the sheer amount of people who remember watching it when they were young and being oddly moved by the video and its use of the song I Miss You by Avril Lavigne. Supercharge Our Blueprint. Supercharge Our Blueprint refers to Hasbro's motto from their February 2021 investors meeting. The phrase became a meme after bronies tuned into the presentation in order to get more information about G5. The phrase might even be the quote unquote first proper brony meme of G5, depending on who you ask. Faust paid Dubbuck to sabotage the show. Nicole Dubbuck is a writer and story editor for the later seasons of Friendship is Magic. This is another one of those Lauren Faust series that isn't really based on anything, but apparently this is about Lauren Faust paying Nicole to ruin Friendship is Magic after Faust left the show due to creative differences. Stars are imprisoned ponies. It's well established that in Friendship is Magic, Celestia was able to trap Luna on the moon, but what about the stars? For all we know, there could be other ponies trapped in there too, right? Mando Pony. Mando Pony was a famous brony musician and the mind behind songs like Loyalty, Picture Perfect Pony, and Dusk's Descent. In 2020, Mando Pony was accused of inappropriate relations and actions with minors, as well as cheating on his wife. As early as 2012, Mando was known for being creepy and even branded as Mando Pedo by members of 4chan's MLP board. Bohemian Owl The Bohemian Owl is a symbol of Bohemian Grove an organization believed to be associated with Freemasonry and the Illuminati. In the episode, Owl's Well That Ends Well, Spike can be seen reading a book with the same logo. Could this be subliminal Illuminati messaging in MLP? Clone Replacement I've talked about this twice already, so I don't know what the other clone replacement theories could even be. Maybe the reason that the main six are so flanderized in the later seasons is because they are periodically replaced by clones? Or maybe the starlight that we see in Season 6 Beyond is a clone? I mean, they do have a different hairstyle, and completely different personalities. White Overmare. Uh, I'm not even gonna try. No, I'm not touching that one. Nicole Oliver is Celestia. Nicole Oliver is the voice actor for Celestia and Cheerilee in Friendship is Magic. This theory most likely goes that the real Nicole Oliver is actually Celestia, after she somehow stepped through the Equestria Girls portal into our world. The first brony. Who is the first brony? Technically, the first official brony was this Anon, who coined the term on 4chan's co-board back in 2010. People also like to call Chris Chan the first brony, since Chris Chan was a fan of MLP since the 2000s, even making a pony Sona. In the Toys That Made Us episode about MLP, the original designer of Spike the Dragon claims that he was the first original brony. Well, whoever it is, I think changes depending on your definition of the term. Pony Tulpa Incident Tulpas are defined as a concept in mysticism and the paranormal of a being or object which is created through spiritual or mental powers. Or, more simply put, an imaginary friend, but on crack. People who create tulpas have to bend their mind to make themselves believe that whatever character they conjure up is real, right in front of them. Back in the day, a few people decided to create tulpas of their favorite MLP characters. The results were unexpected, to say the least. The personalities of the ponies that the people had made up began to infect the rest of their mind, sort of acting as a split personality. One Anon from MLP recounted their experience with making a Pinkie Pie Tulpa, and how it went horribly, horribly wrong. Fluffies. Okay, trigger warning for this part, I don't show anything, but I still think it's pretty disturbing, so skip ahead a bit if you don't want to hear about this. The Fluffy fandom is a subcategory of the MLP fandom that started on 4chan in the early 2010s. It centers around art of these fluffy ponies, or fluffies as they're called. Not to be confused with Flufflepuff, who's an entirely different thing. While Flufflepuff is cute and innocent, most art of these fluffies depict them being tortured or them having their lives ended in various disgusting ways. Abuse is only one category of fluffy art though. Other categories include Smarty Abuse, Hug Box, Sad Box, and Weird Box. 
The official Fluffy Pony website claims the reason that people make disturbing art like this is because it's a metaphor for man's relationship with God. Fluffies represent mankind. Sometimes God is kind to them, but most of the time they're brutalized for seemingly no reason. Rarity says the fuck word. A few years ago, audio outtakes from season 9 of French Super's Magic were leaked, which contained voice lines of the actors swearing in character. Alongside Rarity, characters like Granny Smith and Trixie can be heard here saying things that would get French Super's Magic taken off the air. Take a listen. Praline! Mmm, smells great, Applejack. I'ma go wash my behind for supper. Go wash my lady parts. <laughs> We do not fear it. Fuck me, Blue. Make sure. Oh, fuck. Shit. Our little Twilight, all grown up. Should we tell her we've cleared out? The, should we tell her we've cleared out our motherfucker? Well, of course not. Don't you see? It's the first shift in royal power in over a millennium. Fuck me hard. <laughs> That's the end of the Friendship is Magic Iceberg, but there's still more to explore. In the future, I plan on covering G3, My Little Pony Tales, My Little Pony and Friends, and more in future icebergs. But that won't be for a while. I can't thank everyone enough for all the support I've gotten since the first video. It feels like only yesterday that I had a measly 12 subscribers to my name, and only one real video on the channel. At the rate we were going in February, it would be nice if we could reach 10,000 subs by the end of this year. If that happens, well, I don't know what I'll do, but I'll do something. I'll make it special. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave it a like and drop a comment down below. Your support means the world to me. If you want to see more videos, hit that subscribe button and click on the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever I put out a new one. I can't think of a better outro, so until next time, goodbye. Shoot, shoot, shoot.